Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we'll look at the Axe Minions plugin. This is a really awesome plugin which allows you to have these minions that will do certain jobs for you to produce either food, mining materials, wood and some other stuff. There's seven in total and overall it's a really well made and awesome plugin. So let's take a look at some examples I've got here. So we've got this farming minion and as you can see by the name it is level 3 and it is my own one and what I've done is set a little farm up here and as you can see when I am using bone mill on these every so often they will break so my farmer is doing his job and then if we look in the chest which is linked to the minion that is going to be where all the supplies get put and you can see it automatically replants stuff as well which is really handy now you might notice that the outside ones aren't being farmed, that's because he is only level 3. We can level him up to extend the range and have a much bigger area. If we come over here we can see a mining minion, so he is getting cobblestone from here and if we right click on him we've got a pickaxe and there's a little simple generator to produce cobblestone that he's standing in front of. The minions don't move so you've got to place them properly. And then over here we have a lumberjack, so this one is level 1 and if I were to produce some trees, give it a few seconds and the wood should end up in the chest here. And you can see he's knocked down both of those trees and then you'd have to wait for them to get regrown before he would chop them down again. So that is how they work, there's a few other jobs as well which I don't have showcased but we can have a look at those in a sec. But if I were to right click one of these there's a few things you can do, you can rotate them from north, east, south, west. You can link it to containers, so I've already done that. You can give them a certain item, now depending on their job you want to give them an appropriate item. You can upgrade them and it's going to show you which level, the range and the speed increases as well as the money and the crop requirements. If I click this it says we don't have enough money and I don't think he's harvested enough currently. So let's go ahead and grab one of our own if we do forward slash axe minions followed by the give command and then obviously myself. Here are the seven different ones that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and choose uh, farmer again for example. And this time we can actually choose a level. It doesn't have to be level one. We could do level eight for example and one of them. And here we go, a level eight farmer. And if I pop him here, he needs a tool and give it a second for its update. And there we go. We now have two farmers doing this plot. So I could make it a lot bigger and we would get an absolute ton of wheat from this. Now if I right click him, click link to container and then click the same chest, uh, that will mean all the stuff is going to end up in that chest. As I mentioned you can literally rotate him, it doesn't really matter where he's facing. And then if we wanted to upgrade him again that would mean he needs 25,000 crops harvested, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon but that's what you could do. Now there's a few other commands, you can do axe minions reload if you've changed anything in the config file. But overall, it's a really fantastic plugin, and as you can see, these minions are working hard, doing a very good job, so you don't have to. So here we are in the SMP control panel, and as you can see, there's a few folders and YML files. We pretty much only want to go into the config.yml, so there's a few things in here we can change, so auto save. Max linking distance for the minion to the chest is 30, you can change that if you want. Do you want place permissions, so not every player is allowed to do this? Default minion limit, so you can have five by default, but obviously if you have this permission you can have more of them. Only the owner should be able to break the minion, and only the owner should be able to interact with the GUI and edit them. Should the tools break, yes or no, and should it be able to pull tools from the chest that it's linked to, that could be a cool feature as well. And then there's a few other things down here, such as what the GUI looks like and the type of database that it is saved in. Now if you wanted to, you can go into the minions folder and specifically edit a minion in here. So if we were to go into the farm one, for example, we've got a list of all the tools it would have to use. The items, so the player head and skin it's got, the GUI and then the upgrade. So as we saw, upgrade number 8 was pretty ridiculous to get to 9. Um, so you could change these numbers to make it a little easier to get to or make them more difficult, whatever you would like. Now here we are on the Spigot page, it's updated to 1.20. Personally, I found this to work great on paper, however I had trouble with using it with Spigot. And as you can see, there's a wiki here, Discord, if you need any help from the developer and loads of good information and pictures down here. And you can see it is a fantastic plugin and works really well. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. 
That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.